Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Ostrov, where we have got six houses done, two and a half to go, and it is near the end of August. The race is on. Let's turn this on while we're at it, and I guess take it up to speed two while we're doing this. Um, you know, last time I talked about putting two clay pits in, and then... As I was talking about it, I just opened up this one, and a wagon train of carts started parading out of it, and it caught my attention and distracted me, and I never put the other clay pit in over here where I had intended, which would have made it much faster to have built these houses. I think I did that with the other start of this series too, didn't I? So I thought about putting one in over here, and we could dive it into the trees a bit, just to, uh, to make it kind of not as obvious, not seen as much. These guys are going to be pulling uh, uh, trees mostly out of here unless there's something crossing over, you know, like we did the two houses here. So, let's see, rotate you around like so, I think looks pretty good, and I'll kind of bury you back into here, and these will just be the next 11 trees. Oh, let's turn a little bit more. Yeah, right there looks pretty good, yeah. The next 11, I'll go further? Nah, we'll go right there. Next 12 trees will be these ones that will be taken down. That sounded like a house. Yeah, good, you just went in. Now we got another house here, a pathway, and then I don't know what's going to go there. Got a house and a pathway. David brought up in a comment that if I want to force people down a pathway in order to make the roads look better, I could play around with the fences. I have not done that yet. I kind of forgot all about it. I, I've never even used them. You know, if we wanted to do something like this and drop a fence in and force them to go this way or that way, that's certainly a possibility. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit till I get a little bit stronger sense of what I'm doing as far as the layout of this town. Some buildings don't uh, delete. I don't want to find out that that's one of them. So I'm going to wait just a little bit on that. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, we've got the two one and a half houses yet to go in. Um got a list here benches benches is something that I did not bring up or if I brought it up I didn't actually install them we put the carts around to kind of spread out the transportation in a sense to make things a little more efficient later we need to fill all these but I think a cart house near all of the major hubs of supplies whether that be the farm whether it be uh, the windmill what have you whatever it takes for people to move things around and they seem to want to take a break quite often. And I suspect, I haven't actually sat there and watched them and proved it, but I suspect that they want to take a break on a bench or in their house. If we provided a bench near their place of work, would they no longer walk all the way home to go and sit down? That's what I want to know. So if you were to go there, in fact, let's spend a little bit of time and just lay a bunch of these out. Other places of employment or... Yeah, probably employment is, is one of the, the biggest issues. What's to keep them from going home? So if we were to drop you in there, hold the shift. Thank you. And over here, could definitely use one somewhere. Hmm. I kind of like this. By the, by the, the carts. And when they're done, they just grab a cart and go. How's that sound? Now where? Over there. We already have this over here. Um, that's probably all we really have at this time. Whoa, I must hit the edge of a screen. I took off. Um, what game used to do that to me? Banish used to do that to me, didn't it? I would be having a nice slow pan, all of a sudden, woo! Hop, I would go. <laughs> um... How are uh, benches? I think that's all we really got right now. When this, the, the remaining tents all disappear, then maybe we'll rethink what's going to happen here and drop some, some benches in. All right. So next priority for buildings. I think the farm and then the, uh, the boats and, and fishing. Farm so we can get it laid out and hopefully, you know, all completely laid out before spring starts get everybody employed doing that. What I'm thinking of, kind of lining up an arrow right here in a sense, 
I want a pathway that goes straight out. I want the farms out in here somewhere. And I'd like to not see a big spider web if I can avoid it. Can we have one main thoroughfare without sending them down two narrow fences? I don't know. Maybe. But I see there is a green repetitious something marker going through here. That might be our indicator. Just got another house in. And she's moving right in there. Thank you very much. Let's watch this for a minute. Oh, we've got something there. That reminds me of something. I don't know what it is. That means something. Maybe new family. New... Oh, he just brought all the supplies in. Yep. And you are... Hold on. Are you... You are Simon Trubli. And do you live here? You do. So you brought your own supplies in. That's nice to see. It wasn't just a random laborer. You know, drop off the carts. Then you're going to head into your new home, right? <clears throat> Looks like it. Okay. So, the Trubli family is moved in. Um, I was saying something. Farm. So if we got the farm out in that area, and a nice straight line to it, I'm thinking this knoll here would give us room to put fields all around it. And still leave a gap for something. I don't know what. Maybe maybe more houses back to back against these. We'll see. And speaking of houses, so let's get the farm in first before I go into that because it's gonna get ahead of me, isn't it? Let's first of all line these guys up so they're parallel. So T well that looks pretty good. And then this let me rotate here. Whoa. Right there, front door. And so up in here and on that green pathway right there. So I'm thinking we're looking at something kind of like that for a farm. And then field, maybe two fields in this end, one there, one there, and two fields in this end. Let's see how that lines up. That'll give us six fields, and we may just employ only like two of them, I mean four of them, leave two fallow. The idea that we don't really have enough workers to handle six fields with only nine houses. Whenever we've done that in the past, it kind of bankrupts all the other jobs for, for too long. You know, they're, they're still harvesting way into the end of winter, or, or at least hauling in the harvest. So we need to kind of limit that until more people are available. But speaking of houses, Eva wrote in with the idea that maybe this would work a little better if we did a better job of clustering houses around the businesses. Ashantine used to tell me during uh, um, um, uh, Banished that if you were to add a house with each build, each business you put in, each uh, production building you put in, then you'd have the, uh, the, the worker living right there nearby. Although here it's different, isn't it? The assignment here, I don't think he's ever going to move. He may be a forester. So, he's not. if he's a forester, he's not. What is he? He's a laborer. But if he were to get the forestry job, would he move into this house and kick this family out? I don't think the game works quite the same way as Banished. So, how would you put in a house here and get one person to be the harvester and, by coincidence, get him to live next door to the, uh, the harvester, the, uh, the thatchery? Yeah, get him to, to, to live there and work there. So that I don't quite know how to do other than a whole bunch of hiring and firing until rolling the dice, the one you want happens to land there. Hmm. Anyway, that was the last house. We are in the early October. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. All right, working on this one. We are, supplies are arriving. How are we doing otherwise though? I'm gonna check productions here. We've got two guys, which is the minimum it takes to go and drop a tree. Have we been dropping trees? Yep, three of them are gone. So and there's half of one right there. So they're taking the trees out over there. Um, quantities, 184 wood. We peak out a little over 200. I think it depends on if, if there was 199 and went and got another tree, it would bring another 15. So there's 214. So it really depends on where they are as they're approaching that 200. Firewood is coming in around 150 and don't have any logs. So as fast as we're picking up the logs, we're turning them into wood because we've been doing nothing but building all this time. Later, we're, the, the construction is going to slow down and they'll be able to get ahead a little bit and get some logs in there and just in reserve. Uh, thatch, we are... 
We have 11 thatch available out of 20. So he's still working at that one. Uh, nails, we do not have anybody in there. I bet you we're getting real close. Nails, 214. Yep, it's time to employ him there. Okay, and that's all we have in the way of permanent jobs at the moment, except for our market stall, which is going to be fish. So fish, we got to get to work on that one. Um, over here, we've got the farm going in, and that's all next year stuff. Uh, well, so is the fish too. I'm thinking. I saw Pete Storm do this, and I thought it was kind of kind of nice. He stuck the boat house somewhere off in the distance, so that when they made the boat. Just noting something flying around over there. Now he's gone. When they made the boat, they'd have to take it all the way around to wherever the, the fishery was. So you kind of get to see that happen. Where did that bird go? Go back to full fast speed. You don't notice him until... There he is. I, where'd you go? Ah, there. I haven't really zoomed in to see that that looks like a hawk. Pause. Stop moving. <laughs> there you are. It looks like an owl. That kind of looks like an owl. Can I not lose you? I don't know. The, the, the head's not long enough for a hawk. A little bit kind of short and stubby there. What is that? It's not an eagle. Of course, it may be something from Ukraine and, and a bird that I've never heard of before. But uh, neat. It looks real. Where was I? Boathouse. Let's go there. Boat, 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 right there. Boat yard. That's what we're going to call it. So you qualify just this area here. Okay. Over here, we've got nothing. Ah, need to remove one tree. You will go here. And I want an excuse to send them through this pathway right here. So if I were to put it over here, that excuse would be, uh, would be met. All right. You're there. Now, fish. Fishing dock. Let's head over here, and we have a path that's forming right there. I kind of want to make use of the paths as they form. Oh, that just landed. Okay, well that's a possibility. We've got, whoa, we've got just one spot. As soon as we're here, we have uneven terrain all the way down. Okay, over here, this is available right through here and one spot right there. Okay, if we do the spot right here, what's it take to get to it? I'm thinking the entrance is to the left over here. So we need to get down as far as we can. Is that enough room between that corner and the, the fence of the clay pit? That's all that I get. So I guess we'll find out. Yeah, okay. Are we running a two? We are. Just felt awfully quiet there. How you doing? You're doing. I'm impressed. It's working. <laughs> How many episodes last map did we sit and wait and wait and wait? It's so nice to see it working. Of course, most of that was probably my fault in that original layout. I'm liking this layout, especially as we get businesses out here and, and out here and we've got all this stuff over here. I think spreading the houses out is a good idea instead of having a suburb off to one end. All right, so farm, boat, fish, carpentry is probably the next major building. Let's think here. It should be somewhere up in this area too. Where exactly? Do we kind of sneak it into this area right here? Kind of like that. We have a road that's forming right through here. I see we're going to have a road forming out of every house, aren't we? Interesting, we are. Now it's gonna, you know, if they get to walk as the crow flies, or so they say, it's gonna be the most efficient. If I were to throw some fences in, it would kill the efficiency, but I could make roads because they would be forced to walk down the length and then turn in. What if, hopefully we can delete this later if we don't like it, and what is the right fence? Slow down a little bit. All right, so we've got that fence there. Can't get any closer. It From here, it almost looks like wire. Doesn't quite look like, you know, limbs or logs or poles. 
You know, it's different from... What other fences do we have? Over here... No, you're all... Oh, there we go. No? There we go. There's a three slat. Fence right there. Three, three rail. But these look like wire. Now, okay. I can see it differently. This goes around the outside, the inside, outside, inside, and it weaves. It could be long, thin branches or something, you know, uh, long, thin, skinny saplings kind of a thing. Hmm. Trying to figure out what fence to put in here to make this match. So what really are our choices? It's this one here. Here's the three rail, and I'm not sure what this is, but I think this is what's around the houses right now. Let's go with that. Let's go with probably about like that. And I'm thinking taking him... Let's see, if I hold my mouse button and spin, will I accidentally set it? No. Okay. Taking him out to about like so. So they will head out this middle one and walk out. Let's see if we can kind of force a pattern into the into the game here. I just can't tell how wide that is, but I guess that's my choice right there. Okay. And if I were to right-click, we have a fence. Let me zoom out a little bit. We don't have a, a straight, even fence, but we have a fence, and it demolishes. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. I want to be something like that to that. And then let's do another one. Something around here. to there. Just as an experiment. Let's see if we can kind of start shaping the roads. Yeah, something like that. It's not even, but really nothing here is. Anyway, farm, boat, fish. Next thing, carpentry. And I think that carpentry is up in here. How best? So we can get more of the wagons scattered about. Because we're going to want another well, I'll wait till it goes in, till we can see everything. We're going to want another wagon uh, cart storage out here somewhere. And the windmill out there, too. Hmm. The windmill. We'll have to think about how we lay out these fields. Maybe a pattern of eight and two of them missing. And one of those two is the windmill and whatever else and another one is the cow shed and hay I don't know something that looks looks good looks logical <clears throat> carpentry right there your front door oh doing everything with the mouse <laughs> okay spin you around either here or here but by the way, the hill is shaped and needing to face, oops, inward, Q and R. I'm thinking we're like this. All right. Let's angle up into here, get some sense of a parallel. Uh, okay. I guess that parallel also has to work with the hill. All right, let's try something more like this. That kind of works. Got to get up in here, though. All right, let's zoom out a little bit and think about this from other angles. What's going to look good? We could turn this thing so that it kind of matches that pathway, which looks like it's going to be a pretty uh, substantial and permanent pathway right in there. But we've got to... I'm not worried about this thing. It's going to go away someday. But we've got the cart storage, and that is the pathway to the cart storage. We're going to make inefficient the very thing we put in to make efficient. Hmm. Okay, this isn't going to work. We could get down into here, though. But this is the pathway to get down into here. Ah. <clears throat> Do we get up into here? Hmm. It's a possibility. I hate to put them up in the trees, but it seems like it would it would fit well thematically. Right up like this. 
You know, I kind of like that idea. Let's get a little bit closer. What do we have restriction-wise? And parallel... Um, okay, there, I can see it now. Slight touch that way is a little too much, but I can't... If I, yeah, it's really hard to find that middle point. Hmm, okay. Well, I get back far enough, you won't notice, huh? He could be in a place kind of like this. The carts... He won't really need carts, but he will need easy access to get in to get the logs, and that's over here. Yeah, which means he's kind of more like this, if anything. Okay, although we lose the hillside now. Yeah. Boy. Tell you, what did they do before they had bulldozers? Hmm. Well, I'm only going at one speed. Speed that back up. November's coming. We've got more than enough uh, people right now to do what we need. Hmm. I'm just thinking about when do we want to start adding more houses. We do have to establish the food supply first. <sighs> I could just plunk her down. But I kind of don't want to do that, this, this map. I think we're down in here. I think we are down in here. I got nothing here that works. There was the one spot. Well, I had a certain rotation and it took it in one itty bitty little spot. Now it's gone. Okay. Yeah, I think we're. Uh, there's no choice. It's down and it's over in here. Okay, spin you around. Right in there. And go for it. All right, you're done. Next. Windmill. That can't be done until this is done. All right. Stalled is the clay pit because we're still taking down trees. Five left. That's good. Otherwise, they're going on to the next job, theoretically. That's available. Clay. Did not get put... No, we're waiting on that one. Ah, uh, Okay. Okay, so we're still not going to get the advantage of having the clay over here, are we? Uh, oh, well. Another clay pit could be anywhere out in here. If we're uh, expanding out that way later. There's no point in adding more markets yet. Though when it's done, I'd like to see a market, well, for the current configuration, something out over here and over here. Just to make it a little bit easier and to give a, a few more women jobs while we're waiting so that everyone's got uh, at least a, you know, some kind of a decent income, you know, personal wealth. 16's the lowest so far. 27, why? Forestry, forestry, it must pay the most. That's interesting. That's not what I expected to see. I'm using Alpha 1 Patch 3. I was just watching Pete Storms. And underneath this... Oh, he's got the Town Hall. That's what I saw. I didn't realize what the difference was. He's got the ability to set the rent, set the wages. Quite a few different uh, choices right here. And I saw that and thought, Ooh, I haven't gotten very far into Patch 3. They added a lot. No, he's just further along in the game. We need a town hall. We do, but we need to feed him first. Yeah, too much going on. Let's go to speed three for a little bit. And just get ourselves into winter. Then we'll call this one done. Next episode will be winter. Setting up the fields. Maybe the first... Well, at least get these other two buildings built. We're not going to be able to make any boats until the river thaws. Which is kind of annoying, but... The, the final stage of building the boat is to float it. And if the river's not there, you can't float it. So it doesn't even let you start it to to, uh, to complete it. But you are how close to being done. You've got a little ways to go. So I think we'll probably start here next time. But it's happening. It's happening. We're getting there. The game didn't crash on me. It did crash on me last night when I tried to record this. I got 10 minutes into it. And even Patch 3 died on me. So nice to see that this episode made it. In fact, you know what I did different? I started the game and I immediately began recording. Most of the other times, I started the game and then I tabbed out. 
turn on my file, um, oh, what do you call it, Windows Explorer, so I can see that uh, there is a file being created for the, uh, for the recording, and I'll start up a little timer uh, app that's attached to Chrome, and, and kind of check, uh, um, check a few things first, then I'll go back in and start recording. This time I wondered if I didn't tab out and tab back in, does it make a difference? Maybe that was it, maybe it wasn't, I don't know, but it, something made a difference. So I just might hit pause, end the recording, and immediately start recording next episode while it's working. So, yeah, I think so. I'm going to slow this down, and this has been Noble Rambler. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.